my beautiful beautiful Scorpios what it do my loves how are you all I will everyone is blessed I will everyone is enjoying their week thus far I'm seeing incubus succubus energy and then the song that we are playing right now is by Yusuf Latif and it says hellbound so someone is tied bound stuck to some sort of incubus succubus energy that sounds like there's been some sort of um but i feel you all are, are protected baba ogun is protecting you bringing forth some sort of victory maybe someone has been bound and stuck by this incubus succubus energy and the divine um baba ogun has been protecting you from being affected by this energy um i am sensing and seeing with this song perhaps someone is like headed uh, down a very dark path or maybe they're already in hell um, dealing with that devil energy I'm picking up devil energy um, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign Capricorn energy someone who may have had uh, addictions afflictions um, some sort of maybe they're dealing in their shadow side maybe this is someone who tends to be uh, distracted by uh, someone's sexual um, sexual uh how do you say maybe they are easily distracted by someone throwing themselves at them sexually um and this incubus succubus energy uses sex as a weapon um so i do feel like someone has been like stuck we have guilty conscious i can't eat baby i can't sleep without you in my life so yeah someone who i'm hearing someone who took the bait um, someone who bit into forbidden fruit because we have hell bound here someone is stuck in hell someone is stuck in a very hellish situation or circumstance so I feel like they're receiving karma for their misdeeds their actions uh, that's just what I'm picking up on we this is the they pray and pray on your downfall series I was just picking up the energy so let's tap in, tune in, see what's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. Before we delve into the reading, I would like to say welcome, beloveds, if you are new. I am Q and I am a Claire audience, so I do incorporate music into the reading and it tends to blend with the messages. I am also a Scorpio and this is also um, a general reading, meaning eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless. Whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I also want to welcome my beautiful new, uh, if you are new here, my new subbies, whomever, welcome beloveds, welcome to the soul family, soul tribe, to all of you who are returning, you already know what it is, babies. Love is love is love. Before we delve into the reading, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air ether and spirit ashe i'd like to ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya baba shango baba ogun baba orula baba legua mama yemenya mama oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call personally upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Raphael to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's tap in tune and see what's coming and going out, going on. As I said, this is the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series, Scorpio. So let's see who is praying on your downfall and why. So Scorpios, as I was picking up that incubus energy, I feel like you all are attracting a lot of amazing things into your life. Mama Oshun represents beauty, attraction, love. So a lot of you are very... Um, attractive at this time i feel like a lot of you are really embracing your sensuality your sexuality you're more than likely like really 
um, taking care of you right now. Um, and that can be for the masculines as well. Maybe a lot of you are focusing more on your appearance, taking more um, care in terms of your health and wellness. Some of you could be like boxing, going to kickboxing classes. Um, maybe some of you are starting to jog. Um, maybe some of you are taking some aquatic lessons. Maybe you're learning to swim. But this is more so for your, um, for the self, you know, self-care. And the divine is reminding you, believe you can and you will. So whatever it is that you are setting out to do, just believe you can and you absolutely will. Someone is admiring you from a distance, or this could be obsession. Um, I'm hearing dangerous obsession, so be careful for some of y'all. But someone's absolutely like focused on you, tuning into your channel, um, social media, driving by your house, looking at old pics. Um, this could be a stalker. This could be a secret admirer. This could be someone who's obsessed. Um, and because this says, believe you can and you will, um, maybe someone is feeling, and we still got hellbound playing. So this is someone who could be tied to some sort of karmic. Um, and this is a karmic who could have done a love spell to them. Maybe someone is like still attracted to you still in love with you and they're trying to figure out how to come towards you or how to get you to see them uh, because maybe you've cut them off maybe you like literally moved away away from this person or you've completely um dis engaged with that energy we see that this person was very flighty in and out and it was because they had uh some extra marital um, situation or some extracurricular, I should say, situation going on on the side. We have Nas playing Prediction, um, and this is from the uh, Nostradamus album, and this is the intro. So there was something that you may have predicted, um, and I feel like it's in regards to love. Maybe someone that you know um, who treated you unfairly, who was in and out, unreliable, and very impulsive. Um, you know, maybe you're predicting that they're going to come back because this is, you know, that Mercury retrograde. Maybe someone was very pre um, predictable in their actions, um, which has led you to, you know, severing the tie for once and for all. But let's go ahead, cut this deck. Bottom of the deck will be the overall energy. And it says, believe you can and you will. So I feel like a lot of you never gave up on, you know, your faith on, you know, on your will. Um, on your willpower, you've persevered through some really difficult times. I feel like this person really pulled something out of you that you may not have even believed was there. You had nothing to lean on but your strength. Um, and it was because someone was not really giving or nurturing the relationship and connection with you. Um, we have one and no playing. Um, and this is by um, Jenna Iko. So, I mean, I feel like a lot of you uh, really wanted to know what was going on with this person and why their time with you was so unpredictable, where it would be like they would be there and the next thing you, next thing you know, they're ghosting you. You don't hear from them for a while or maybe, you know, you send them a message and they wouldn't respond until a couple of days later. And so you wanted to know what was really going on. And I feel like, you know, ultimately many of you did not really... You know, maybe a lot of you, you found it difficult to envision your life without this person, um, to stand really fully in your independence and in your strength. But I feel like the more you believed you could, the more you were able to stand erect and the more you were able to completely release yourself from someone who was very low vibrational, who was hellbound. That's like devil energy. Someone who is um, very toxic, who may have addictions, as I said, who could have had drinking addictions, drug addictions, sex addictions. So we have, I don't fuck with you. So you stop fucking with somebody, you know, this is someone that you could have cut off, you know, cause you wanted to know what they had going on on the side and they didn't tell you. And so you severed the tie with this person, as I said, and you created a healthy boundary between you and this person. And you also, um, stopped them from being able to come back into your life whenever they felt the need and then disappear toying with your emotions, keeping you on this emotional roller coaster ride and having you on this reciprocal uh, repeating cycle. I feel like a lot of you just finally said enough is enough and you've created 
created that boundary. Um, I see here that you all are coming into some sort of increase or promotion. There's some windfall of money. There's some sort of lucrative business deal some of you may be making. Um, and I feel like there's this this like things are going to be on the upswing. It's only up from here is what I'm hearing. Um, and I feel like someone's definitely like a little jelly because you seem to be able to like like it's almost as if you've bounced back better than before. Bounce back better than ever uh, because you believed you could. You know, initially you didn't. That's why you held on so tightly to that connection, even though that person was in and out, swinging both ways. Um, but we see here that you broke some sort of yoke, and it's ten ten right now. So that's the end of a cycle, completion of a cycle. This 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 yoke has been broken, and so now there's redemption time. I feel like a lot of you have redeemed yourselves, and when you break yokes and generational curses that means that you have changed the traje trajectory of the you know the 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 life cycle within your family um unit within your family um dynamic and so things are going to change for the better especially when it comes to finances um especially when it comes even to love you've broken some sort of karmic cord and you've discovered the truth you've discovered your truth that you are fully capable that you are fully powerful and i feel like you know whatever you wanted to know you've become you know, illuminated to whatever was being hidden from you. And I see here the corner of the streets by um, Lord Dramar. Um, so someone was really playing, you know, they, they, they was hugging the streets. That's the saying. It's 11, 11 on the clock. So someone was really hugging the streets, you know, really spending more time hanging out with their buddies, going out to the club or going out to confirmation. And I feel like with that 1111, you know, that's like a portal. Double confirmation. So I feel like you all were receiving downloads. You all were receiving um, some sort of information. 1111 reduces to four. So this person was affecting the stability within the household, the stability within the relationship. They were causing you to be off balance, which is why that yoke needed to be broken. And I feel like as you broke the yoke, you found your balance. You've come into harmony. And I feel like this is also speaking to, you know, the stability, the success that you will now start to um, receive. But someone was really still immature, you know, just really focusing more on hanging out with their buddies or hanging out with their girlfriends, um, you know, hitting the streets. You know, there's a saying in New York, like, you know, they hug in the streets. And that means like, you know, they give more love to the streets. They're out in the streets more than they are in the home, you know, nurturing and caring for their partnerships, their relationships, or even, you know, their own children. So I feel like that's the yoke you broke was not being involved with someone who did not have, um, you know, who did not honor you the way that you deserved. So we have front of me here. It says they don't really rock with you like that. So you was dealing with someone that was like an enemy. You were sleeping with the enemy, I'm hearing. You also had a front of me. So this was someone who pretended, fronted, um, you know, who was very fugazi, who was very calculating, manipulative. And this was someone cunning as well. So they pretended to be, you know, um, you know, pretended to be rocking with you, you know, whenever you would call them, they would probably be making faces when you call like, Hey, what's up? Fake phony. And, um, I feel like some of y'all started to pick up on that energy. Um, with this, I don't fuck with you. I feel like this person really didn't fuck with you like that. And a lot of you, because you were so, um, loyal because you're so loyal Scorpios. I feel like this person was around longer than they should have been. And I feel you gave this person the benefit of the doubt when you should not have, because this person has been preying on your downfall for quite a while. And this is somebody that, you know, maybe you, someone you grew up with because it says the corner of the street. So maybe y'all used to hang out and um, kick it. Or maybe this is someone that you knew from the block or knew from your, you know, your hometown, from your childhood. And this is someone that you thought was really like a friend. And they turned out to be a friend of me. So we have here, you know, God, uh, pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. So I feel like a lot of y'all, as I said, you know, with that 1111 portal, that's like downloads. That's divine intervention. That's like the divine is giving you some food for thought to let you assess a situation. And I feel like when you started to really pay close attention, you started to see someone in their true light. You started to realize like, damn, this person isn't really who I thought they were or they're unreliable because we did see unreliable, impulsive. And when somebody's unreliable and they're in and out, 
that's not somebody that you could really depend on to have your back, your front in a tight squeeze or in a situation or a circumstance where it's like really, um, um, detrimental to you and your well-being. So I feel like a lot of you started to really assess this person's actions, really assess this connection, this dynamic. So who's playing on Scorpio's downfall and why? And this person is like hidden. This is the hidden energy. And this is someone that really doesn't like you. They really are jealous of you. And it's, where have you been all my life? So um, you do have um, new love. I feel like you got a new interest. And remember, we were seeing... Um, you know, someone's tuning into your channel and it said um, secret admirer. That was one of the options. And so I do feel like someone is watching you from a distance, tuning into your channel. Maybe some of you have social media that's open to public or maybe you have your own YouTube channel, your own platforms, your own TikTok, and you're getting a lot of attention. Maybe someone is tuning in and maybe they're just like tuning in remotely. Maybe someone is tuning in you know, telepathically via your dreams, astral projection. And um, this person is really, you know, realizing just how special, how, you know, how connected, how much of a bond. I feel like there was this chemistry. If this is a new person, I feel like when you first meet this person, you're going to be like, dang, like the chemistry is going to be so profound. The synergy, you know, is going to be so profound. Or if this is someone that you've already met, I feel like whoever that person is, because remember 11-11 showed up, you may have a twin flame coming in and that could be why someone is really jealous and perturbed and frustrated and aggravated and angry that you've moved on but this could be someone that you already know that could be a friend that you may have fallen out with um, that is you know still thinking about you still you know like questioning where you are how you are and I feel like if you find yourself thinking of someone that you haven't seen in a while that could be because that's this person thinking of you and so you're like they're they're pulling you into their energetic field and vice versa we have Baba Ogun here so there is guaranteed success victory uh, you all are coming into some sort of breakthrough financially and I feel like you're also coming through some sort of breakthrough because we saw that you broke some sort of yoke um, I feel with cool Keith uh, uh, playing it says I don't believe you I feel like a lot of you are not going to believe when someone comes in because of what you've experienced in the past so I feel like you have to be receptive you have to be open um, to receive this love because this person is really really um really attracted to you on multiple levels and I feel like a lot of you because as I said you've been kind of jaded um, you know you've been done wrong in the past some of you may may be a little hesitant to open up to be as accepting um but let's tap and tune in so we got small things and then when you know better do better so do better so yeah so you know don't sweat the small things i don't like how that so there could be some sort of emergency i feel like someone's going to try to come in and alarm you but the divine was telling you don't sweat the small things um and the divine also said you know better so do better so have a different response than what you initially would have because someone is just trying to kind of puppet like trying to pull strings trying to throw you off course we have cardinal birds and we also have small things here so your ancestors your angels your guides this is your beloved angels they're telling you not to sweat the small things and not to pay attention to anything um minute not to pay attention to anything that may be um beneath you i'm hearing beneath you so someone may try to like distract you and a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention so something that you're speaking into existence you're manifesting this abundance you're manifesting some sort of victory some sort of success some sort of new love interest i feel like this frenemy you're going to recognize who they are. And we have I Don't Believe You. And it's 555 five, five on the clock. And I just want to show you because I like to show and prove. That's just the type of person I am. So 555 five, five right there. Um, and it may have changed. Did it change? Oh, no. It didn't change. So 555. Five, five. So there's going to be um, someone with whom... Because I feel like with the 555, five, five, that reduces to 6. 6 is all about harmony. And we're, we're clarifying the speak it into existence. So something that you've manifested, I feel like it's in regards to, you know, love. Um, love, you know, 6 is the number associated with love, with harmony, um, 
with balance, that yin yang type of energy. Um, so I feel like you've manifested someone to come in, you know, to speak your love language. We also have alone together. So you and this person will be alone together. You will have an opportunity to communicate and this person will be um, come a member to your soul tribe, your soul family. I feel like just as I said, like this is going to be someone that you have a very profound chemistry, connection, tie. Um, the two of you are going to just speak each other's love language. The two of you are going to just get one another. It's going to feel like you've known this person all of your life. And I feel like it's because this is your twin flame that's coming in, especially in, in with that 555. Like I said, that represents the change. Um, but it's a positive change that's coming in. And it's positive change that's coming in because you've spoken these words into the universe and sources answering that prayer for you. So this is powerful. Come on, baby. There's some resistance, and I feel like it's because that that past person is trying to hold on to you. And I feel like you all are very connected as long as you connect to your higher selves. You know, see, you've manifested something, someone coming in. And it's because you know who you are, you know your power, and you're owning it now. You know, whereas in the past, you know, remember, it says believe you can and you will. And so when you change your mind, you change your reality. And when you focus your intention, you also can create whatever it is that you wish to manifest. So laughter is food for the soul. Someone's coming in that's going to bring a lot of joy and happiness. They're going to make life feel more invigorating, more fulfilling, more exciting, more adventurous. You're going to be overjoyed. And this, you and this person are going to spend a whole lot of time alone together. So... I feel during the courting stage, there's going to be a lot of time having deep conversations, getting to know one another. And you're going to realize in those moments just how much you all are alike. And I feel like that's where the chemistry and the synergy is because it's going to be something that's like it's profound. It's unspoken. It's there's this deep attraction between you and this person. And so we have soul family, soul tribe on the bottom of the deck. And it says, believe you can and you will. So I feel like a lot of you didn't give up on, you know, believing that you can meet someone that's on your vibration, that you can meet someone that's especially meant for you. I feel like a lot of you in the past, you've compromised for what you wanted or you've compromised on, you know, what you wanted because you just wanted to be in a relationship. You just wanted to be loved. You know, and I feel like this time around, you don't have to compromise. You know, you believe you can have whatever it is you want because you know your worth now. And so now you are attracting it because remember the divine was saying, you know, speak it into existence. Words are powerful. So many of you took it to, you know, to meditation. You went into meditation. You went into deep mantras and affirmations and speaking powerful words into the ethers. Look at this. I didn't even know this card. Look at this. You spoke it into the ethers. You believed in this, this ability to manifest someone. This is profound. This is profound because speak it into existence is here. So you've manifested this person that's going to feel like family, feel like home. This is powerful. And that's why I was picking up. Y'all are going to spend a whole lot of time alone because this person is going to court you. This is going to be a beautiful love connection, a beautiful love union. Oh, wow. So why is I don't fuck with you here? And we have um, Big L. I'm sorry. This is um, Jean Grey featuring Styles P and um, Talib Kweli, and it's called R.I.P. So yeah, R.I.P. this person in your relationship. It's the end. You're, you're rising in power from this relationship. When you're resting in peace, it's something that's dead. Death is your card. So you've transformed from this connection that was really flighty up and down. That was an emotional roller coaster ride. Someone who left you feeling emotionally bankrupt. You're no longer fucking with that energy because you now know your worth and value. And you now know that there's others like you. You don't have to settle. You don't have to, you know, compromise when it comes to what you know you deserve. And I feel like we have here, you attract what you are, mind your energy. So this was someone that you initially, maybe you were in your dark, you was doing your dark night of the soul. You were on your journey. And I feel like this is how you've come into union with this person. And that's why we had um, that you've broken the yoke. You know, congratulations, because you all have freed yourself from some sort of, um, you know, some toxic tie, some soul tie, some faulty belief system, you know, some generational curse. 
And so now that you've discovered who your worth is and your value, you're now attracting exactly what you desire, which is your soul family, your soul tribe. You're attracting someone that's going to be your A-alike, B-alike. Someone that's going to be the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. And you're no longer fucking with low vibrational energy. People who try to bring you down or try to ride your coattail because you now know who you are. See this? I see you. So you saw someone for the no good mofo that they were. You saw someone for the user, for the liar, for the deceiver, for the deceptive person they were. You saw someone for the frenemy, the enemy, the liar, this, you know, um, that evil eye stalking ass. You saw them for who they were. You knew when you stepped outside of that connection exactly what you was dealing with. And you realized that you had to be very much in a low vibration to ever be connected or tied to someone who was as calculating and as manipulative and as much as a gaslighter. So you saw someone because you tapped into your higher self and your angels. Remember Cardinal Bird showed up. So Cardinal Birds represent your ancestors. So you were spiritually guided to see the truth. Many of you saw synchronicities. Many of you saw animal totems. Some of you could have been seeing Cardinal Birds, hawks. Some of you could have been running into pigeons or owls or storks or uh, cranes, falcons. And these were just reminders that you need to tap into your intuition, that pro profound changes were occurring. And the divine is telling you, be thankful for what you got. Be thankful for the ability to see through the illusion, to remove the rose-colored glasses, the veil from your eyes. Because whomever these individuals were, they were very, very cunning. They were very much conning. They were very uh, con men, con women. They wore masks. So why is promotion pay increase? Lucrative business deals here. Divine spirit of love and light. Why is promotion pay increase? Lucrative business deals here. And we have connect. And we have receptive. So a lot of you. A lot of you connected to your higher self. Some of y'all manifested that shit. A lot of you manifested it and you were open to receive because you knew it was your birthright. I feel like you're going to make a lot of connections also through business deals because you are now trusting and believing in your abilities, believing in, you know, whatever your gifts are, whatever your powers are. You're believing in this ability. You've been honing, nurturing, mastering a skill, mastering a craft. I feel like a lot of you have healed yourselves. And as you heal yourselves, you become great healers. And we have respect playing by Aretha Franklin. So that garnered the respect from your angels, your guides, your ancestors. See that? So we have connect and receptive. So your ancestors, they respected the journey. They respected how hard you've worked. And that's why you're receiving this. I feel like whoever you... You know, if this is a boss giving you a promotion, a pay increase, if you're making some sort of lucrative business deals, and if it's through some sort of investment and you're receiving this great and exceptional, you know, value now, it's because of your hard work paying off. And the divine is telling you, be open to receive, babe, because you've earned every moment of it. And, and, and I feel like you're being rewarded because you've healed, because you've healed at a soul level, and because you've transmuted the negative energy, the negativity that you've experienced in former relationships. You've transmuted that energy and you've used your powers for good. You've transmuted it and changed it into something that was lucrative, that was uh, abundant, that was going to generate more wealth, more uh, financial stability, if you will. And I feel like you've tapped into one of your passions, one of your powers, one of your gifts, whether it's art, creativity, whatever this is, this represents self-mastery. So why is the front of me? They don't really rock with you here like that. Why is front of me? Thank you, spirit. So we got a couple of cards. See that? Ooh, baby. Yeah, this is someone who did not have respect for you also. And, and, and you told them, look. You know, there was an ending. So we got illusions, delusions, faulty foundation. There was some sort of tower moment with this person and we have dive, delve, go deep. So I feel like a lot of y'all took some time away from this person. You went into hermit mode and you really assessed some sort of ending. And you started to realize that this person was not who you thought they were. This person was someone who lacked respect for not only your, not only you, but for themselves. And I feel like for many of you, this ending is what has allowed for you to rebuild and this time you're rebuilding on a more solid foundation. And we have KMD Gimme. 
So this person expected you to give them, some, you know, give, give, give. They took, 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 and then they would leave when you would give. But I feel like, you know, the last straw may have broke the camel's back because something crumbled. There was this unexpected change, but something came to light. Maybe you saw this person for who they were, and it's 11, 11 on the clock right now. So this definitely, there was some sort of clarity, some sort of epiphany, so some sort of aha moment because there was instability in this union. And I feel like after this crumbled and fell, you had nothing but time to go within, to go deep in, within yourself, to just, you know, to really, um, to really discover or self-discover or even in, you know, how, do I, how should I say this? It's like you really did some deep diving, I should say. You know, you took those internal self audits is what I'm trying to say to really question, you know, this connection to question, you know, what you were feeling after the mayhem, after the fact. And you realize like this person literally was just a taker. They didn't give you anything. This was a person who was like, give me, give me, give me. But they never would give. And that's why I used the analogy earlier of like you being emotionally bankrupt because someone definitely was not reciprocating. They were not making any deposits. They were just making withdrawals on your time, your energy, your funds. And I feel like this is because this person was not someone that you could trust. This is someone who lacked respect for you. This is someone who was also jealous because maybe you made more money than them. Maybe you were more successful. Maybe you were stable. Maybe you have your shit together. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you really started to tap into your intuition, your higher selves. And you may have called upon your angels and guides to give you, you know, some sort of download. But I do feel like you're manifesting someone, you know, this person that is absolutely like, where have you been all my life? I feel like the two of you are going to hit it off really nice. And this is going to be someone who's going to be reciprocate, um, reciprocal, like they're going to reciprocate the gesture. They're going to know how to court you, as I said in the beginning. This is someone who's going to take the time um, to let you know how special you are. This is for both males and females. Males don't only have to be the one doing all the courting. You know, sometimes a female can step it up and be like, look, you know, what are you doing tonight? I want to take you out, you know, and take a brother to his favorite little spot to go listen to a nice live band. You know, take a brother out to go play pool. Do something out of the ordinary. Courting does not just require the feminine energy being, you know, being in a space where they want to be. It's also thinking. It's like it has to be something where both parties are feeling seen and feeling appreciated. And I feel like Scorpios don't have no problem with doing that either way, whether you're female or male. Because we're very loving, nurturing, and caring anyway. And we will do anything for those we love. But I feel like in this regard, there's going to be some beautiful, beautiful chemistry between you and another person. And I feel like, you know, y'all are just going to have similar interests anyway. So even if somebody does pop off and be like, yo, let's go play pool. I feel like the other person will be like, word, you play pool? And you're going to be like, yeah. And y'all going to be like playing pool and have your little gloves and your little pool sticks. And that's going to be like your thing to do, you know? But this is like dope energy that I'm picking up. So why is where have you been all of my life? And this is why somebody's hating. Because they're literally watching you come into union with your twin flame. And we have it didn't happen to you. It happened for you. See that? Where have you been all my life? So I feel like, you know, everything you've been through, it brought you to this, this time. It brought you to this very moment. And we have Let It Burn playing by Jasmine Sullivan. So it's like all you can't have a testimony without being tested is what the divine is pretty much saying. And the divine is letting you know, like, look, you had to go through everything you went through. You had to be treated the way you were so that you could learn your worth and your value. And you had to make the decision to walk away. You had to finally make that decision so that you can now walk into union, come into union with someone who's on your frequency and vibration. 3333 three, three, three on the clock just now. So if that's not on the frequency and vibration, I don't know what is. Because that's 6666 six, six, six reduces to 12, 12 reduces to 3. 3 is all about, that's that solar plexus. So this is coming into power. This is coming to the illumination and clarity, the strength, courage, and wisdom. That someone is your person. But this is also healing from that past pain. Three is also a very powerful number of manifestation. And we did see I manifest. 
and someone in your past was keeping you stuck and stagnant. See this? Someone was trying to keep you stuck to them. This was a very codependent connection, very toxic relationship. This, you couldn't move from this person. And that's why you had to finally make the decision to leave that past alone, to release it. And that's what the yoke was about. When the divine said, you know, that you, you broke, you know, you broke free, you broke that yoke, you know, redemption. So you've redeemed yourself and the divine is rewarding you because now you have someone who's coming in, like I said, that's on your wavelength. This is someone who's going to speak your fly. You're going to speak your same love language. They're also interested in the same things you're interested in. They're also emotionally intelligent and willing to compromise. And so with let it burn, I feel like this person here, the stagnant stuck energy, I feel like you will never forget what you've come through because it's made you who you are. It's made you stronger. What did I say about you coming into your power, taking your power back with that solar plex energy? That's the sun that shines within us. So a lot of clarity came to you from this relationship, toxic or otherwise. It doesn't matter. You've learned a lot about yourselves dealing with this past person who was in a codependent connection with you. Someone who wasn't really a friend, wasn't really someone who cared about you. And I feel like this victory is because you've been really praying, manifesting change in your lives, calling upon your guides, your angels, your ancestors. And they've answered those prayers. Someone that's going to feel like you're unlike anyone that they've ever met is coming in. And that's why we have, where have you been all my life? And it's going to burn. It's going to burn this hater. Because whoever they may have cheated on you with, they got played. And they thought they was playing you, but they ended up playing themselves because all they did was move out of the way so a real man or a real woman could come in and swoop you off your feet and treat you like the divine masculine, divine feminine that you are. Some of you are musicians, artists, singers. Some of you play instruments. Some of you are channelers. Some of you do music therapy. Some of you could be sound therapists. I feel like a lot of you find music to be very healing, very soothing. This person really is, you know, feeling like very smitten, very attracted to you. But I feel like this past person that had that control, that was able to manipulate gaslight, you freed yourself from that. That's why you had that, you know, the yoke has been broken. Baby. So this is powerful. And we got Erica Badu window seat. Someone saying that, forgive me, but you're free. This is the person who's gaslighting, playing a lot of games, in and out, impulsive energy. That's that knight of wands. Ruled by their phallus. Remember, you had incubus, succubus energy. So someone was really, really going around out here in 2021 being a whole damn hoe. Masculine or feminine. And I feel like this person was flighty, in and out, unreliable. And it was because they was juggling multiple people. There was an attention whore. They needed the attention of multiple people. They needed to feel validated by others. This is someone who broke your trust constantly. Would lie like a rug. Tell you it's raining when they was pissing on your head. Just bullshit artists. Gift the gabba. Talking because they have lips. So the bottom of the deck. Overall energy. And we have attention. So this is what you was dealing with. So you thought someone was your twin flame. And they was a false flame. I feel like this person was definitely distracted by some sort of. You know, some sort of um, incubus, succubus energy. As I said, someone who really was um, easily easily duped, easily manipulated, very gullible. Uh, someone who did not really listen to their intuition or trust their intuition. They would just easily be get like pulled into some sort of, you know, some sort of like entanglements. And an entanglement is a curse. And so if you got somebody out there that doesn't even have like... The ability to tap into the intuition to discern when they're being used or discern negative energy or, you know, toxic energy. That's not somebody you want to be tied to. So I do feel like, you know, this this was someone who was a false flame that you was dealing with. Someone who could have been, like I said, you know, codependent on you. Um, this is that person that wants forgiveness because they now see you coming into union with someone else and they have a window seat so that means they got front and center watching you come into this divine union the spiritual union with someone that you've manifested someone that you knew you were worthy of having and this person is like they got the window seat like i said front and center they're seeing all of this unfold and they definitely had you on the silical ride this is like repeating cycles merry-go-round remember i was saying up and down this is like that you know 
emotional roller coaster ride. So it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. So someone definitely, you know, recognizing after the fact just how, you know, how special you were. But you're no longer fucking with that energy because you know now how special you are. And you know this person doesn't deserve it. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve what you bring to the table. Because they bring nothing but heartache. They bring nothing but STDs for some of y'all. They bring nothing but trauma. So you've made a decision for yourselves to walk away, to cut this energy off. Because you know that you're a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. Which is what I said here. When you know your worth and value, you don't settle for less. You believe you can and you will. And you believed you deserved that divine feminine or that divine masculine that was going to be just as empathic, caring, loving, nurturing as you are. And I feel like, you know, this person truly didn't appreciate what you brought to the table. Maybe they felt you were too emotional. Maybe they felt you were gullible, you know, or naive. I should say not gullible, but naive. Because you cared and they didn't realize that that was your superpower and that's why they were so smitten. Now they're realizing why, you know, what makes you so special is because you have a caring heart. Because you're not cold. So why is this promotion pay increase here? Clarified by Connect and Receptive. Ooh, goodness gracious, the success card. See that? I'm clarifying pay increase and success flew out. And I feel like, you know, all of these other cards, I'm being told to put these back because that was the message. That's exactly what we needed to see. That success card immediately jumped out. So promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals. And I feel like this is saying that you absolutely, and this, I didn't even notice this, but this also spiritually got it divinely protected. So you were connected to a higher power. You know, maybe some of you, like I said, were manifesting this co-creating maybe some of y'all were working with that new moon energy last night you know and so you're manifesting the success this success card represents you know it's money 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 baby this is about wish fulfillment job um you know job increases job offers investments you know this is like manifestations of opportunities and this is what you have been you're receiving this because you've been spiritually guided and divinely protected. Meaning your angels, your ancestors. Baba Ogun is bringing you this victory. This breakthrough. And I feel like a lot of you with this. Um, we have um, Anita Baker. You bring me joy. So yeah. Baba Ogun is, very, um, is playing a very intricate role in bringing you this abundance. This, you know, this increase. This prosperity. I feel like a lot of you are just manifesting your dreams and we have no reciprocity, only take, take, take. And we're about to clarify frenemy. They don't rock, really rock with you like that. So we see that. And I feel like you saw that too because they was in and out. Whenever you needed them, there was nowhere to be found. You would call them. They wouldn't answer for days. Some of y'all, you never got a response. You still on read for a message you sent three months ago because that's how much of a priority or lack thereof that you were in someone's life. So this person didn't give as much as they took. And I feel like it took for you to really go within. You know, Scorpios love hard. And so I feel like it took a lot for you to walk away because you was giving someone, you know, chance after chance because you didn't want to just walk away and end it. Because maybe this is someone you were planting seeds or roots with, with this illusions that speak to a tower. So many of you lived with this person, had children or a child. And but this was one sided. And we have superstar here playing by group home. So now this person sees you as a superstar. And so they may want to come back knocking, you know, you know, trying to come back getting in your good graces. But they're only here to take. They're only here to do what they've always done. So why is um, friend of me, they don't really rock with you like that here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall. Toxic behavior. Can't make this shit up. Frenemies being clarified by toxic behavior. So this is a liar. This is a deceiver. This is someone who is very calculating, very cunning, very manipulative. Some shit hit the fan. Something came to light. And I feel like a lot of you went into hermit mode. You may have went into isolation so that you could really assess things for what they truly were without any interruption. So you detach from that energy and you were able to spot. You were able to spot that devil. You were able to spot, you know what I'm saying? That person that was t 
tied or bound to some sort of outside entity. And I feel like you started to like feel energy. You started to pick up on this person's energy. Instead of giving this person the benefit of the doubt, you now started to assess them more intuitively or more discerningly, I should say. And so when they would come back saying things, you would really pick up on their energy, be like, that don't feel right. That don't sit right. That don't sound right. And so that's what you started to do. And you realize this was a liar. This person was deceptive. They was envious. They was jealous. They was hating on you. And they was a snake. They was very much an uh, enemy. This is someone watching you with evil eyes, preying on your downfall. And this was that player, somebody who thought they were smarter than they were, who absolutely got played at their own game because they met a mirror reflection of themselves. So this person was a frenemy. They definitely didn't give a damn. But now this person is seeing you shining. They're seeing you in the spotlight because they're obviously watching you, um, you know, from your social media. Or maybe they're just stalking you and clocking you by driving by your home. They're keeping like tabs on you some way and they know things, of you know, on the upswing, as I said earlier, but you're trusting, you know, what you're feeling energetically with this person. And this person is still a player, still playing a lot of games. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like someone um, that's coming in is absolutely going to be, you know, really feeling something very deeply. And I feel like you, you're, you're trying to figure out how to gauge that. So we have the grass was greener on the other side. See that because they watered it. So this is what the divine is telling you. Look, it didn't happen to you. It happened for you. So the divine had to remove all of the pawns out of the way. You know what I'm saying? So that you could get your king. You know what I'm saying? They had to remove the pawns, the knights, all of that. The rooks. So that you can access your queen, your king. And I feel like, as I said, you can't have a testimony without being tested. You can't heal from a situation if there's nothing to heal from. So you had to go through being abandoned, for being overlooked, for being mistreated, taken for granted, unappreciated, in order to now know what it feels like to absolutely receive all of that and then some. Because you and this person are going to be like, dang, you know, I must have manifested you because it's going to feel like everything that you've dreamed of, everything you've hoped for. And that's because it is. Look at this. You have people in secret competitions with you. And it says, keep your business to yourself. So don't go online, you know, revealing like, hey, y'all, I just got a boom, 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 pay increase. And it was just 40, 40 and 40, 40 reduces to eight. So they're telling you, keep your money business to yourself. Keep all of your possibility, like anything you're working on, keep it to yourself. Don't reveal nothing because there's a lot of eyes watching. There's a lot of people stalking. There's a lot of people super concerned and perturbed by your success, by your growth, by you being able to rise like the phoenix from the ashes and a lot of these people are people you don't even fuck with no more because you've already cut those ties but they still preoccupied with watching and stalking you frenemies people who you been cut off that you don't talk to that you've been discovered were liars and these are people that you had to rebuild you had to rebuild they thought they destroyed your castle for good but you, you, you shock them because you are rebuilding and you're rebuilding and rebranding and you're regrouping and you're restructuring. You're doing everything new and everything is like very powerful, it's successful, it's abundant. It looks, you know, it's, it's lucrative. And this is this is drawing a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. Let me get one more card, my spirit. Why is where have you been all my life here? clarified by the uh, it didn't happen and the grass was greener so you had to go through that you know that energy with that person see that look at that the world so you've completed a cycle this is like double or triple confirmation that you've completed a cycle and now the new can come in when you end a cycle every ending denotes a new beginning so this is a card which is telling you like you've learned new experiences you have a different perspective you've gained a deeper understanding you're more knowledgeable of yourself you have a spiritual alignment that you're coming into you've discovered your spiritual or soul's mission you're wiser. And I feel like with the sun, moon, and stars here, this speaks to everything lining up. So you're coming full circle. And you're coming full circle with what you deserve, what you have um, manifested. And this is powerful. So this person, you know, you had to end that cycle now for the new. So you got to release the old for the new to come in. And this speaks to growth. This speaks to expansion. 
It speaks to like great things coming in for you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have what does their energy speak to you? And I feel like that's what you're going to be like paying attention to. And that's what's going to have you like stuck. Like, dang, like I'm really feeling this person. Like everything about them is perfect. And you're going to get a little afraid by that because you're going to feel like this is just too good to be true. And the divine is saying that's because you manifested it. <laughs> you manifested it. Everything you've called for is going to come in. And with this will of fortune, double confirmation, wish fulfillment, this is abundance, things come in full circle, transformations is now bringing in these new opportunities. There's a lot of, you know, hatred, drama. You walked away from the drama, though. This is you here with the five of swords, you know, and you walking away and somebody who thought that they destroyed you, you know, it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. And whatever lies, whatever deception, whatever illusions you know, whoever rejected you, they're going to regret that. And we have Mr. Telephone Man playing by Erica Badu. So someone that rejected you, someone you may not have spoken to in a while. Like I said, they're trying to communicate via your, you know, dreams, telepathy, intuition, telepath. Um, you know, I said a telepath, but uh, like remotely or through astral tra traveling, even through, you know, Maybe even just calling you. Because it says Mr. Telephone Man. So someone is going to try to reach out. You know, and this is someone you haven't spoken to. Maybe y'all had some sort of disagreement in the past. And I feel like this is someone that you know already. You know, and maybe this person thought they was like the Mac. You know, I'm hearing Ice Cube, the Mac. So someone was given to multiple people trying to be, you know, the Mac. And I feel like, you know, karma. Things were imbalanced in the past. Maybe you felt like you was begging somebody for their time, for their attention, and they never gave it to you. And so when you discovered your worth and value, you walked away from that. And this is this person feeling like they're bigger than they are. But all they were was, you know, childish, immature. Because apparently you didn't know about all of the other ones. Why is this? Look at this. Stuck energy. Trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. There goes your energy. See this? So you are in your power. The Queen of Cups, this is someone very self-loving, very intuitive. I feel like you have a lot of angels around you. You see these angels. You have three in particular. So it could be a mother for some of you, a father, an uncle, a sibling, grandfather, grandmother. I feel like a lot of you have been led to like do your healing. Because this queen, she's, she's reached self-mastery. So you know your worth and value, but you are still perturbed by some sort of disappointment. That's why the divine is reminding you, like, look, stop looking at that chalice like something happened to you. It happened for you because you don't even realize what's coming in. And what's coming in is someone that's going to treat you just like the divine feminine that you are. And we have Zulima people. So you got new people coming into your life. See that? Look at that. You got someone that's going to be on your frequency. Your angels and guides are co or conspiring, I should say, behind the scenes to bring you into union with your twin flame. This is soulmate. This is a spiritual union. This is you coming into harmony with someone that's on your vibration. And this is someone that you're going to be like, yo, where have you been all of my life? This also is that soul family connection. And the divine is reminding you, like, believe you can and you will. So there's five of swords. Somebody's really upset, really frustrated, really aggravated that you've decided to move on with your life. And it's that superficial person, that um, attention whore. This person is upset. They're used to getting things their way. They're used to, you know, causing petty beefs, arguments. And you're not engaging because you got bigger and better things to do. You're walking towards the water, which is cleansing, which is also a source of healing, which is also a source of release. And you're letting go. You're not even engaging. You've thrown your swords down. And this person thinks they won some sort of battle, but you're winning the war. Because you're no longer engaging with someone who's an attention whore, who needs all of this attention. And that's exactly what this is. Someone who just wants to win at all costs. Likes arguing, likes listening to themselves. Why is that don't fuck with you here for the person who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And you attract what you are. Clarified by you are a miracle. And we have the three of cups. So you ain't fucking with somebody who could have had drinking problems, who could have been out there drinking, drugging. This is why they were probably impulsive, in and out, flighty, unreliable, 
just partying it up. This was that person that was hugging the, you know, remember streets and corners was playing by Lord Jamar. So this is that type of energy out at the bar every night, hanging out with the boys, hanging out with the girls at the club, at the bar, meeting other people, but not home, you know, nurturing and loving on their family, you know, not building and growing, you know, a legacy or building a relationship with their children because they out partying it up like the children living in a second and third childhoods. So that's what you said. I'm not fucking with no more because I'm too grown for that dumb shit. Could have been dealing with a king of wands or fire energy who has a, a very wandering eye. Someone who likes to be the center of attention. That's the epitome of this attention whore. They're very passionate, very lusty. They're ruled by their phallus. They're always looking for a good time, a fun time, in and out. They don't stay for long. So that could be what you was dealing with. You know, that person loves the party. They love excitement. They love, you know, they're very charming. Very charismatic, that King of Wands. And I feel like that's probably what initially attracted you to this person. And remember, we have people. This person likes to be, you know, the center of attention. So they could be like that social butterfly. Whereas you're more laid back. And so that's like, you know, the opposites attracted. But I feel like some of y'all, like I said, there's a past person coming back. There's someone doubling back to get you. This is someone who could have rejected you in the past. Remember, we did see the Four of Cups where someone feels like they missed an opportunity because they went after something else only to discover that it was unfulfilling. Now they're coming back. And I feel like you're going to have to trust what you feel because that's what the divine said here. This person definitely went after something else because they thought the grass was going to be greener. But now they're doubling back because they're realizing like the magnetism, the connection, the attraction, the chemistry, it can't be faked. You know, I feel like things are coming into alignment, coming full balance. So why is this um, why is this promotion pay increase lucrative business deals here for Scorpios? And we have the King of Cups. So this is your energy. Money looking good, honey. So you definitely have some sort of stability and success. And it's because like you, 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 you work hard, Scorpio. You don't play when it comes to like your career. You bust your asses, you know, and that's why a lot of you are successful. That's why a lot of you, you know, achieve your goals. I feel like someone wants to come in and rock with you. You know, this person is also, you know, because we saw the queen of cups. Now we see the king of cups. So this is like twin flame energy. This is a suit. And I feel like this is someone that's going to rock with you. They're going to come in and they're going to add on. They're not coming in to take out of the, you know, out of the cookie jar. They're coming to add on. They're coming to build because they see that you are very stable, very self-sufficient. This is someone who knows her worth and value. You are very domestic healing. You're nurturing. You're caring. You're kind. And this is someone who's like, yo, that's that's beautiful. You're the queen. So you're doing well on your own. They see you as someone who is like. Someone that they can invest in, someone they could grow with, someone they could have like this stable, happy house, happy um, house, happy spouse, happy house energy. You know, someone that speaks your love language and the king of cups and the queen of pentacles. That's a beautiful match. You know, the water um, feeds and nurtures the earth, you know, so this is beautiful. So why is um, frenemies? They don't really rock with you like that. And it's funny that we have I want to rock with you. And then we have a friend of me. They don't really rock with you like that. So see that? The emperor. So this is that ex. This is that overbearing, pompous, overzealous, self-serving, narcissistic, controlling, manipulative, backstabbing, pompous ass. This is that person that could be the husband or the wife. Somebody who's very angry, very frustrated. Very like they hate to see you do good. This is someone that pretends to be happy for you, but they're really like really frustrated that you're able to succeed without them. And I feel like for a long time, you thought this person was like a friend, someone that loved you unconditionally because you may love them unconditionally. Because if this is the mother or the father to your child, that's just the type of love you give. You are empathic. That's your energy. But this person definitely look at that face snarling at you, controlling, overbearing. And they're upset because you got new love here. They're upset because you've broken free from the illusion. This person was able to manipulate and gaslight and control for a long time. And you went deep and you realize like, yo, this is not love. This is toxic. This person is controlling. This person has issues. They have mental issues on top of that. And they left you with all the burden. How the hell an emperor going to have the divine feminine or the empress going to have the divine masculine just doing everything on their own? 
not even like adding to the situation or, you know, coming in and trying to take away the, you know, the stress, the trauma. You was overburdened and underwhelmed all at the same damn time. But I feel like, you know, you finally saw things clearly. That's what you was diving, delving and going deep. And you said, I got to release this shit. This isn't serving my highest good. This doesn't make me feel appreciated value. This person was not rocking with you. They were sitting there watching you do all of this shit by yourself. And they just sat there and watched. This king could have just, like, they could have ordered others to help you. He's the emperor, for goodness sake. But he sat there on his throne was like, yeah, do that shit. It was almost like they were trying to tire you out, trying to keep you stuck, make you feel, you know, like you were devalued, like you were less than them. But we see here that you finally discovered the truth. You realized that person wasn't rocking with you. You realized that, you know, you had to, like, you had to get rid of the baggage because this person left you with a lot of baggage, you know. And I feel like with the 10, it reduces to the ace. And the ace is all, wow. And the ace is all about the new beginning. So that's what they frustrated with. You got the ace of swords. So someone's absolutely going to bust a dope move. And they're going to express and communicate how they feel. They want to clear the air. They want to cut to the chase. And this is because you finally completed a cycle and ended things with this toxic person, this toxic ex, this overbearing person. Look at this. We got the Queen of Wands here. So someone cheating, thinking the grass was greener with the uh, Queen of Wands, the mistress. This is someone who takes pride in being the home wrecker. You know, takes pride in stealing men, you know, stealing women from these men or stealing men from, you know, they, these women, these homes. I feel like you absolutely are coming into union with your twin flame. And I feel like this is going to feel so beautiful that you're going to be like elated. And we have none of your friends' business playing by, um, I don't know who this is, by Iham. So I feel like a lot of you, you're not going to, you're going to be very hush about this because you want to maintain this, this happiness, this joy. I feel like a lot of you aren't going to say a peep. I feel like you're cutting everything and anyone out of your life that may try to distract or disturb your peace, your joy. There's going to be a whole lot of communicating, as I said, between you and this person. It's going to be some dope, deep conversations. Y'all are going to realize you have so much in common. But I also feel like this Ace of Swords is you cutting yourself free from this toxic connection, this toxic relationship. And also seeing the truth finally. Thinking more logically. Being more intuitive. Coming up with new business ideas. Whatever it is you're working on. I feel like whatever lucrative business deals that are coming through right now is because you are coming up with some really amazing ideas. And it's all a part of your karma. Because you you are manifesting this. This is like you have wish fulfillment here. You know, karma is all about, you know, what you put into the universe, you get back. That's the yin yang. That's the laws of, you know, that's universal laws. What you put out, you get back. But I also feel like the divine is saying that, you know, good things are coming in for you because you've remained just, you've remained righteous. And so because of that, like I said, you're being rewarded. The divine has acknowledged what you've done. And I feel like you've manifested a lot of these changes, a lot of this love, a lot of this wish fulfillment, this happiness. You focusing on the self because the nine is all about self-love, self-worth, self-value. You know, the body language is closed off, but he has a big smile. And it's because he's happy with himself first. He's bringing nine cups to the, to the table already. So this is someone fulfilled. And so one person coming in bringing that ace of cups, that's completion. That's that happily ever after. That's that, you know... That's that happy house, happy spouse, elation, joy, emotional fulfillment. And that's exactly what you're getting. And this is your karma. And I feel like whoever did you dirty is also receiving karma. Whoever was emotionally manipulative is also receiving karma. But I feel like you've, man you've manifested a lot of good things into your life. And there will be communication because someone is at a distance from you. And I feel like they're going to plan a trip. And they're going to offer you some new start, some new opportunity, some new love. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that this resonated. The person that's praying and hating on your downfall appears to be an ex because they're seeing that you literally are coming into union with your twin flame, your soulmate. They're also seeing that your finances are unaffected by whatever they've destroyed in the past. Whatever they were trying to control, 
They've lost the control because you found your power, your strength, and you're coming into union with your soul tribe, your soul family. And I feel like it's because you've discovered that you are powerful, magical, and you absolutely can manifest your thoughts into reality. And that's what power is. So continue manifesting, continue growing, continue evolving, and continue blocking out these fake individuals because you do got a couple of fake ones still left. And you may need to take that ace of swords and sever the ties for once and for all. Many of you are receiving receiving these rewards and recognition because you've already cut those soul ties and broken those yokes and broken those generational curses. So now there's a reward on the other side because whatever was being blocked and delayed and thwarted by the enemy, by those who are your secret haters, your secret you know, your frenemies, it's now coming in because that cycle, that cycle is moving again. So things are coming full circle. And I feel like a lot of you have gained the clarity and the truth and overall the illumination of who's who and what is what in your circle. And I feel like you're making the necessary changes to end things for once and for all and just stick that nail in the coffin. But this is definitely speaking to transformation, growth, evolution, ascension, and just self mastery all in and of itself and I just want to say congratulations to you Scorpios for doing the work because you don't get this type of energy you know the success card flew out to clarify promotion pay increase lucrative business deals so a lot of you are coming into money unexpectedly a lot of you are coming into just a lot of new love ships new connections new friendships you're just meeting people on your wavelength and that's dope but i do appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in if you found that the reading resonated please be kind hit the like the share the subscribe definitely hit the bell notification if you are new i hope that you stay a while and if you are returning beloved you already know what it is love is love is love thank you so much until next time ashe